children how are you doing are you enjoying your stay at home are you troubling your parents well i hope you are not troubling them and i also hope that you have finished all the homework that we have assigned to you well now it's time for me to take a little test and to see whether you have learned or not it's time for a quiz so are you ready for a quiz so children there will be pictures on the screen right here and you have to identify it and see if you remember the parts of the body or the fruits or vegetables or flowers or colors or not so are you ready to test yourself great so let's see what the first picture is can you tell me children what is the first picture on the board well it's your nose right see it's right here your nose now let's see what the next picture is can you tell me which color this is well it's the same color as your hair yes it's black right perfect now can you tell me which flower this is it's big and yellow in color right it's the sunflower isn't it beautiful yes it is and then the next picture which vegetable it is children we eat it probably every day right it's small and round and it's brown in color can you tell me what it is it's a potato right don't we love eating potatoes of course we do now what is the next thing that we see here it's big and juicy and red and we mostly eat it during the summers right it is the watermelon right the next thing that we see here is the king of the vegetables can you tell me which it's the brinjal right yes it's the brinjal it's the king of all the vegetables children which is the next color that we see on the board here it's the beautiful color right it's the color pink now children can you tell me which part of the body is this can you see down it's your toe right great now children which fruit is this it's the grapes right they are two colors they are in two colors purple and green now children which flower is this can you tell me which flower is this it's the tulip right it's the tulip well i hope you have got all the pictures correct if you have then you have studied very well keep up the good work so children today after so many days we have all come together to learn about a different topic so are you ready are you all excited to know which topic i am going to teach you today well it's about domestic animals they are also known as pet animals children there are many animals around us right even they are at our homes so the animals which we keep at home they are known as pet animals now children you must remember one thing god has created animals for us right he has created you he has created me and also the things around us and that includes the animals so you must love all the animals you should never hit them 
all right you should take care of them if you have pets at home you should play with them you should love them give them food to eat give them a good bath same as your mama does for you right even they deserve your love and your care am i right so you should love all your pets okay children so today we are going to learn about 10 different kinds of pet animals the pet animals which we see at home maybe you don't have but people around you they have so are you ready to learn about 10 different kinds of pets great so children have you seen this animal before he's tom right tom is a cat so cats cats are the most popular pet animal in the world they are very lazy you know that's why you find them sleeping all the time they are meat eating animals they hunt mice or rats cats they are usually found in all the homes right do you have a cat at home or have you seen a cat yes they have claws right so you need to be careful with them all right so the baby cats or the young cats they are known as kittens okay what are they known as kittens great the next one we have here is the dog the dogs are also very popular in many houses right they are found everywhere dogs are also known as man's best friend they are loyal and gentle and also very playful have you seen a dog before do you have a dog at home well the dogs are very playful with man so the next one we have here is the goat goats are they have small bodies and long legs can you see here and they also have long ears they have two horns on their head goats they eat grass or hay they also give us milk have you seen a goat before yes the baby goats are also known as can you tell what a baby no goat is called they are called kids okay so the next one that we have here is the cow cows they have a big body can you see here they have big bodies and long legs they are also used as cattle all right they come in different shades or different colors all right cows they also give us milk right the milk that you drink every day which provides you strength they are given by cows all right the next one the next pet that we have here are the sheep okay sheep they are covered with wool the wool that sweaters are made up of yes that wool 
sheep they give us wool sheep are small and they have short legs and a small tail they give us give us wool which we use for making sweaters right they also give us milk the baby of the sheep is known as lamb what are they known as they are known or they are called as lambs all right the next one we have here are the hens well hens are small and they are flightless birds they do not fly all right they have sharp claws as you can see they have they come in different colors all right children hens are used for giving us eggs hens lay eggs they also give us meat right we call it chicken right the next one we have here are the is the rabbit right can you tell me which character can you see here it's bucks right bucks is a bunny bunny is also a name for rabbits rabbits are small round and cute right as you can see here they have long ears and red eyes they live in burrows but people also keep them at home they eat carrots they love eating carrots the next pet animal we have here is the parrot parrots they come in different colors but in india mostly you see them in green color right they have a curved beak can you see they have sharp curved beaks they come in different bright colors all right they mostly eat chilies seeds and also corn the next animal we have here is the pig pigs are intelligent animals they have good memory power all right they are not used to warm weathers okay that's why you see them in the mud right the last pet we have are the ducks can you tell me which character you can see on the screen he is donald the duck right ducks are small birds all right people keep it at home because they give eggs right ducks are very good swimmers all right so children with this we have come to the end of the pet animals i hope you have understood each and every animal that we have seen here so together we are just going to call out loud each of the animals all right will you call it out with me great the first one that we see here is the cat can you spell it out with me c a t cat good the next one we see here is the dog can you repeat the word after me dog great the third one which we see here is the goat right g o a t goat the next we have is the cow c o w cow the next one we have is the 
sheep. Can you hear? Sheep. Once again, sheep. Great. Next one is hen. Rabbit. Once more, rabbit. Can we spell it together? R A B B I T Rabbit. The next one we have is the parrot. Are you listening properly? It's parrot. Okay? Parrot. Once more, parrot. The next one we have is the pig. Once again, pig. And what is the last one that you see? Is the duck. Okay? Duck. So I hope you have learned the pronunciation of each of the word. Alright? Now children, do you remember how you have to stick pictures and write on your scrapbooks? Well, if you don't remember, I will show it to you once again on the screen. Alright? All you have to do is write the title or the heading Pet Animals or domestic animals then stick the picture and write the name below the picture now children do you remember what I said to you in the beginning you must love all the animals, alright? You should never hit them or mistreat them. Love all the animals, alright? Now with this, we end our class. And I hope to see you soon when the classes begin. Till then, take care of yourself, stay at home, don't worry your parents, and learn your work. Alright? I'll see you in the next class.